Hey everybody. Get this thing started here so I can watch on my feed as I'm stamping later. As you uh, come on to my video, make sure you are saying hello so we can uh, greet you back. I want this to be a fun social place for everybody. While I wait for everybody to come on here, I am going to pop on my Facebook page so I can see your comments and questions as you have them. I see Julie popped on. Hi, Julie. Are you staying warm? Do you guys, uh, did you have to do any shoveling today? We got a lot of snow out here. Um, I'm still getting over <coughs> a cold, so um, <clears throat> I'm hoping that I don't, <coughs> excuse me, cough too much during my event here tonight. I saw Robin just popped on. Hello, Robin. <clears throat> I see that you have a cold too. I saw on your um, Facebook page and whatever's going around is horrible. I have had this bug for like a month. Um, I see Carol popped on. Hi, Carol. Hi, Kathy. Wow, you're from Canada. That's awesome. Uh, let me see here. Let me just grab. Did you end up having to work today, Robin? I see Julie got out of work early. I'm grabbing a pen. Yeah, I've had my cold since uh, Christmas Eve. And um, it seemed to get a little bit better. Sorry, you guys are like right all up in my forehead here, but I have to lean over to my uh, pen holder. I started Christmas Eve. I think my sister had a bug and she gave it to me and then um, it got a little bit better. But now the coughing just will not go away. It is um, really starting to take a toll on me. So I'm hoping I've been sucking on some honey cough drops, so I'm hoping that that will help. Hi, Sherry. Um, I didn't have to do any shoveling today. John did all that for me, so he's a top-notch husband. I love that. <laughs> but I did have a, a pot roast waiting for him when he was done, uh, which he was super happy about. Thank God for crock pots, because um, that makes it really easy. Oh, hello, Trenton. I actually have some cute cards that I think Trenton would really like. It'll be my first project. So if he's watching, they may be ones he wants to make. Um, I have to tell you, it feels like I was live just yesterday. Well, I guess officially I was live yesterday because I popped on to answer some questions about the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit because it's celebration. There is... Hi, Jessica. Because it's celebration, there is a huge sale and promotion going on right now. Um, so I came online to answer some questions about that. And so if it comes up at all about uh, the starter kit today, um, as I'm stamping, and you're wondering, like, what the heck is that all about? Just scroll back in my feed and take a look at my live video from yesterday. I have kind of compiled all the questions that people typically ask me about the starter kit. And I answered a bunch of questions and either even answered some live um, about how to find new customers for those that are interested in building a business. Uh, so if you have questions, that would be a really great resource for you. But besides that, I was live last week, Wednesday, so we're now two weeks into my New Year's resolution, which was to stamp with you guys every Wednesday night live, of course, work schedule and whatnot permitting. Um, 
I resolved to make stamping a priority in my life because the creative therapy really, really helps me um, stay sane and calm and not so anxious and um, I'm really enjoying it. And so I'm super excited to continue to inspire you every Wednesday. Since I was live last, <coughs> excuse me, um, I feel like I've had a really big week. Last week was super long at work. It felt like the week just totally dragged on. And then over the weekend, we had my work Christmas party, which was really fun. They had a band. It was a little bit loud and hard to kind of talk over everybody, but we had a good time. John came with me and he had fun and it was kind of cool to have my um, work friends get to meet my husband. Um, it feels like our work lives and our home lives don't always mesh up all the time. So that was really cool. And then on Sunday, I had a first time experience. I went to Ikea with my mother-in-law, Gail. And I don't know how many of you have been to Ikea, but holy crap. That store is huge. I had no idea what I was in for. We could not figure out how to get out of the place. So um, this store is bigger than any store I have ever been in. And everything is set up and everything looks so cool. And you want everything. <clears throat> and of course, we didn't have any measurements with us for a room or anything like that. I don't think either of us really knew for sure what to expect. And so halfway through Ikea, we're like, whew, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I think we need to get out of here. So um, yes, Jessica, I know exactly what you're saying. Five hours later, five hours later, we were trying to figure out how to get to the checkouts for the couple of things we bought. But <clears throat> I did buy um, a really cool pegboard that I'm going to put next to my um, crafting table here, get some stuff off my tabletop and get a little more space. Um, once I was done in Ikea, I kind of wanted to come home and just purge and really organize. Um, I hear that a lot of people are doing that after watching that tidying up show on uh, Netflix. So I, I should probably stay away from that because I'm the kind of person who goes gung-ho with like everything immediately. <clears throat> okay. I do not want to chat your ear off. I want to get right to some good stuff here. So I'm going to grab a couple cards. You probably see them behind me here that I made this week. Again, I'm going to show off this card I made the week before. I don't think my sister is watching, but this is going to be her Valentine. So, shh. Um, and then, if you caught my blog the other day, I entered a card into... Um, the Global Design Project Weekly Challenge. It was a color challenge to use Petal Pink, So Saffron, and Soft Sea Foam. I'm still getting used to the names of all these new colors. And here's what I came up with for that card. I'm sorry that the words are backwards. I have spent hours trying to figure out how I can mirror um, <coughs> horizontally flip this video and apparently it cannot be done unless you have an iPhone so you're gonna have to deal with it and then today <coughs> I worked from home today because we had tons of snow and um, working from home means I don't spend an hour and a half in my car total getting to and from work it's a 45 minute drive there a 45 minute drive home so I had some extra time in my day, and of course I spent it making cards. I am going to make this card in my next Facebook Live. So you're getting a little bit of a sneak preview here. Again, it's hard to read because these words are backwards, but this says bride and groom. And this was super fun. Way easier than it looks. So that will be next week. Stay tuned for that. Okay, how about I flip you around and we get to our prizes from, oh, wait, wait, before I get to our prizes, I have jokes for you. I've made it my mission to um, tell you a joke each time I go live. 
And Sherry, I think Trenton will really love these jokes. You have to have him take him to school and tell me if they're a big hit. Okay, <laughs> so the first one. What kind of shorts do clouds wear? Any guesses? Thunderwear. Ah, that's so funny. Totally bad dad joke, but I thought it was so cute. Okay, and the next joke that I found that I fell in love with, of course, because we did a little beekeeping the last two summers. Why was the bee's hair sticky? Because he used a honeycomb. Ah, super funny. Another horrible dad joke, but I thought it was cute. So, okay. I'm going to flip you around so we can get to prizes and stamping. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. If I can remember how to flip here. Okay. Okay, now... <clears throat> My lighting gets a little tricky here. If there is a glare, let me know. Let's see here. I don't know if that is better or worse with the light on. I'm going to start stamping you. Let me know if it's too much of a glare. I'll watch my comments here. <coughs> okay. So, first things first. When I am done with this video, I will post it and all the dimensions, all the details for the products. You can get everything right at my online store. And um, you can see all of those details on my blog, countrycardsbyrose.com. While you're there, subscribe to my blog. I post all sorts of stuff. Not as often as I would like, but I certainly try. Um, and that way you don't miss anything. You can be entered to win a prize for ordering from me, sharing my video, commenting on my video. So share, 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 share. I'm really trying to grow my customer base and you guys can help me with that goal by sharing my video. So the more shares, the better. And of course, if you order from me, make sure you use my host code and log it on my Stampin' Rewards page. In my blog, across the top, there's a tab called Stampin' Rewards. Log your purchases there. It's the best way for you to get Stampin' perks. Um, so like uh, <coughs> um, Stampin' Rewards. Sorry, I call it my Rustic Rewards program. It's the best way for you to get Stampin' Rewards without having to buy a whole bunch all at once. So you can, you can log your purchases, let them pile up, and then turn them in for free rewards, okay? So make sure you log your stuff on my Rustic Rewards page. Now for the prizes. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to drink some water here. I'm getting a coughing jag. Remember, if you order, share, or comment, you're entered for a prize. And our first prize tonight goes to Carol Yerkman. Carol, you are the winner of this card that we made in our last live. Um, remember, we stamped the inside here, too. I will either send it in the mail or you can pick it up when you uh, place your order. And then our next winner is for this adorable Valentine's card. Lynn Mott is the winner for that. Congratulations, Lynn. Uh, Lynn, I do not have your address, so make sure you send me a private message or email, countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com, so that I can get your address and send this to you. And the next prize is this adorable uh, set of Valentines that we made. So this four set of Valentines. 
this was the one I colored with you and these are the ones I showed you. So we've got this collection of four Valentines and the winner of that is Leslie. I don't know if it's Brunner or Bruner. Leslie, you won the set of Valentines. So I think I have your address, Leslie, but um, if I need it, I will shoot you a message and we can get that in the mail to you. Okay, let's start with our first project. We are using the adorable Hey Love Valentine set. This is my favorite in the catalog. Last time we did not use the skunk, but we're going to use him tonight. So most of the time you guys see me making um, a standard, I would say A2 card where it's a half a sheet of paper folded in half. But I don't know if you realize this, Stampin' Up! makes these small envelopes. Let me grab one so you can see it. They make envelopes for little three by three cards. And these are perfect for just little trinkets to give to a friend or to tack on to a gift. And so what we're making today, they would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, what we're making today is a three by three card. So we've got a layer of crumb cake. This is six inches by three inches. And then we're gonna uh, fold it here at three inches in from the outside. I've got a piece of the lovely lipstick foil paper that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. A layer of whisper white that's two and a half by two and a half. And then um, a scrap here of crumb cake that is, let me measure it, two inches by one inch. And we may need to cut this down, we'll see. Um, this foil paper is actually a free product during celebration. Whoops, I got two pieces here. I want to show you this. So here is the full sheet of that lovely lipstick color that we're using. You actually get two colors in this package. Pull this out here for you. Lovely Lipstick and Grapefruit Grove. Um, I can tell you that this video is not doing this paper justice. It is beautiful. It's probably my favorite paper. And so of course I want to use it every way I can. It's really going to make your cards pop. I'm watching my video right now on the Facebook and I can see a horrible... Um, Claire from my lamp. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's get stamping. This is one of those simple stamping cards. Very quick project. As I was making these projects, I realized out of all my stamp and blends, and I have a whole bunch of them over here, trust me, I do not have the lovely lipstick stamp and blend. I don't know what the deal is. So I'm going to have to place that in my next order. Okay, we're just going to glue down our square of lovely lipstick onto our card base right in the center. I like to use liquid glue mostly when I glue down my projects. It stays um, a little bit wet for longer than some of the other adhesives. So if you need to move it around to really get it centered, on a page, you can uh, do that pretty easily. Okay. And now, I'm actually gonna do, put this away for a second because I'm going to do the trinkety part first. I really like the look of our white embossing powder on crumb cake. So we're going to emboss our sentiment 
Um, whenever I emboss a sentiment, I always go over it first with my embossing buddy. This prepares your paper for the embossing powder. It makes it so that your powder sticks only where you want it to stick. Okay, so we've got our sentiment here. Stinking sweet, it says. And now I'm going to take my white embossing powder. Cover that up. Get the excess off. I just bought this little Tupperware at, I think, Walmart. And it works really great for when I want to emboss. I just keep my embossing powder and my embossing buddy in there and then when I'm done I can just put it away. When you emboss you're going to want to use Versamark ink. This is a sticky ink that helps that embossing powder stick to your project. Now we're going to heat set it with a heat tool. Um, one tip for heat setting, get your um, air hot before you start it and I like to set it from the bottom so that we don't blow our powder around. So you're gonna be able to see here as our embossing powder starts to set. This is getting a little hot. There we go. Okay, I can't hold it anymore, so I'm going to finish it up here. Okay, so lesson learned. If you're putting it on a small scrap of paper, uh, make your paper long enough that your fingers can stay out of the way of the hot air coming out of there. Okay, I'm going to trim this up just a little bit here. Don't want it quite this big. Okay. Set this aside. And now we're going to do some stamping. I've got my crumb cake ink over here. And we're going to use this adorable skunk. Make sure he's good and inked. Cute! Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, I love that skunk. I hate the smell of skunk. Our dogs got sprayed this summer like three times and it is a horrible smell. What you think skunk smells like is not what it smells like. Trust me, it is horrible. Um, I'm waiting for this ink to dry to make sure it's good and dry here. And then I'm going to come in with my stamp and blend and we're going to color in these hearts. Again, I didn't notice until I went to make these cards that I don't have lovely lipstick in my stamp and blends. I thought I had them all and I don't. So I'm just going to use the closest one I could find, Dark Blackberry Bliss. And I'm going to go in here and just color these little hearts. Add a pop of color to our white layer. Okay, now this is going to go on our card front, and we're going to have our little 
What do we think? On the bottom or the top? I kind of like it on the bottom. So let me trim the edge of this off. And then just for a little something interesting, I'm going to use some linen thread, wrap it around here, and tie it in a bow. It can be a little tricky working with these small pieces of paper. But a lot of times these little details make a huge difference on your projects. Um, I also want to make sure I give credit to the designer of this layout. I actually found this when I was browsing Pinterest. I think it was Mary Fish who had some cards like this that inspired me. Her cards are not the same, but the layout it's very similar. So if you see it on Pinterest, I totally stole it. Okay, we've got our bow tied here. Make this a little bit more reasonable for our card. Trim our edges. And now we can put the finishing touches on here, get some stuff out of the way so we can see. I gotta grab some dimensionals. Remember, if you like my projects, show me the love. It gives me so much energy when I see those likes and hearts. Okay, so we're going to pop this up on dimensionals, center it right in the middle of our lovely lipstick foil paper layer, and I'm going to pop our little stinking sweet sentiment up as well, and I'm just going to come in from the outside like so. I feel like he could use some sparkles so let me bring in some sequins. We'll do some white on white. How about here and here. Done. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Good night, Sherry. Good night, Trenton. Um, I got to show you that this isn't the only project I made using this layout. I also used our cute little alligator and our gorilla or our ape and made those. So now we've got a trio here of Valentines and I don't remember where I put the envelope. I lost it, but these, I promise you, stick right into the envelope. They're the perfect size. So our first project in the books tonight, huh? That was pretty easy. Let me get this all cleaned up and out of the way so we can get to our next project. We're using some super fun colors. Oh, 
for this next one. <coughs> Again, we've got another simple stamping um, project here. We are only using stamps, ink, and paper. No die cuts, no punches. Um, this is how easy stamping is and it can be so cute. So we're using the Hello Cupcake stamp set. This is free with a $50 purchase during celebration. So it's a bonus item for you. And we're gonna be using some vellum. We've got a layer of Whisper White. Um, our card base is out of Grapefruit Grove. Card stock is the color. This is a five by seven. So five inches the short way, seven inches here. And you're going to score if you like, but it'll be folded at three and a half. This is the size of our note cards. And you can buy Whisper White and Very Vanilla note cards and envelopes. Perfect for the beginner stamper. It comes already cut and scored for you. This is a sheet of designer series paper. And this piece is three and a quarter by three. Again, this is two-sided. This comes from the Share What You Love designer series paper stack. Lots of pretty papers in here, two-sided, just gorgeous. And um, the colors I'm stamping here, I picked out because on all of our designer series paper labels, you can see the colors that coordinate with them. So, I'm going to card fold it. And we're going to stamp a cupcake onto our Whisper White layer here. Now these are photopolymer stamps, so to get a nice crisp image, you're going to want to stamp on something that has some give. I like our stamp and Pierce mats. I just cover them with a scrap of um, paper so that they're protected. So we've got Mint Macaron. We'll be using Mint Macaron, Rich Raspberry, Grapefruit Grove, and Crumb Cake. So now I'm going to actually stamp the cake part of our cupcake. And I hope I can get this to line up. You've got some jagged edges on this stamp. Those line up right in here with the points of your cupcake paper. Okay, so I've got our cake stamped. Now I want to stamp our frosting. Our frosting I'm doing in Rich Razzleberry. If you notice, I need a new stamp pad. My Rich Razzleberry, something happened to it. It's all gummy and I don't like that. Got a little stamp on the edge of my block, and I want to make sure that I don't accidentally get that on my paper. So just wipe that off. Okay, we're going to line this up with our cake and stamp. Super easy. Then if you want, you know what? I didn't actually plan this, but I think it would be super cute to take this little heart and I want to stamp this in Grapefruit Grove. We've got a little heart sticking up. Okay, I'm going to get some of these stamp pads out of the way so that I don't drop them on my project or drop my project in them. 
I have been known to do that with a finished card nonetheless. Okay, so we've got our layer of our cupcake stamped here. And on my card base, we're going to be layering our designer series paper right on here. And I want some of these little sprinkles kind of peeking out from the edges. So I'm just going to stamp those. And then I'm going to do the same thing up here. That will be awesome. Okay, we're going to glue this down. Glue our designer series paper layer to our card front. And then we're going to glue our um, cupcake layer on. I actually think that would be better if it was popped up on dimensionals. So before I do that, we're going to stamp on our vellum, if I can find it. Now for stamping on vellum or window sheets, you're going to want to use our stays on ink. This is our permanent black ink. It dries quickly. So I'm using the celebrate your day sentiment. Stamp that right on there. And then I got to try to find my silicone craft mat here. Give me one second. Because you can see through on vellum, um, I need to glue it. And so I have to be careful about how I do my glue. So what I do is use a silicone craft mat and I stick a sponge here in one of our clips and I sponge the glue onto the piece I want to adhere. It gets it sticky enough that we can glue that down. And I'm going to layer this right over the top of my cupcake, get it lined up with the edge, make sure that's adhered. Then when this glue dries, you can just rub this right off and it'll peel right off your silicone craft mat. Super easy, cleanup is a breeze. Okay. Now I'm going to pop this layer up on dimensionals. And we are done. that simple. Isn't that a cute card? Really super easy. Just stamps, ink, and paper. I got this bent a little bit. The beginner crafter can easily do that card. This is a great project for someone uh, looking to just kind of get their feet wet in the stamping world here. And uh, if you want, you can even do a little bit of stamping right here on our envelope. So 
some of our confetti before you send it out to coordinate it. Easy. All right. Now on to our next project. Get this again cleaned up a little bit here. So we have our clean workspace. All right. Our next project, I was on a little bit of a roll after my global design project creation that I showed you earlier. So I went with the same color scheme. made a second card. This one had a lot of supplies. So we got some punches. All right. So for this card, I'm using the Forever Lovely Bundle comes with these photopolymer stamps. Right now you can save 10% if you bundle it with the Lovely Flowers Edgelets dies. These, these dies are what I used here um, on this white layer on this card. They're gorgeous. We're not actually using the dies in this card. I just wanted to show you how they coordinate. This is one of those two-step stamps. So let me show you what I mean by that. Again, we're using photopolymer. So we're going to get that stamp and pierce mat underneath our project. And these two-step stamps are so easy. I've got these flowers, gonna ink them up. And just stamp. And then you come in behind with your next layer, which I'm using soft sea foam. This first layer was petal pink. And for this one, let me move this out of the way so I can see good. All we have to do is line up the stamp. So I'm making some room for my rose in here. I can see the holes for these three stamps. It's hard for me to line up when I'm not straight on, so I'm gonna do my best. There we go. It perfectly matches up the leaves with those flowers. See how easy that was? Okay. We're actually going to use part of this that we stamped for our project. So I'm going to come in here with my lovely label punch and I'm going to just capture the corner of these flowers onto my punch. Okay, next I'm going to take my sentiment, some memento ink, and I'm going to stamp this onto our tag.
Wishing you a lovely day. Set that aside. Okay, next I've got a really fun technique that's going to add a pop of color and interest to your projects. I think I'm going to be using this quite a bit. In fact, I used it earlier on the wedding card that I made that I showcased you. We're going to do some watercoloring. And I call this technique, I think they call it smooching or smooshing. So I'm getting some ink in the top of my ink pad just by squeezing this down. And what I've got here is a window sheet. So what do I mean when I say window sheet? These are those 12 by 12 sheets you get that you use to make shaker cards. So um, as I've been making shaker cards, I get these, uh, you're cutting it down and you've got these pieces. So I've just taken one of the pieces that I have left and I'm gonna take my aqua painter and I wanna bring some ink onto this window sheet. There really is no rhyme or reason to this. And it's hard to see because I'm using such a light colored ink, but I'm really just blotting this all over. It does not matter what I do here. Now I'm gonna take this window sheet and I'm gonna take it wet side down and I'm gonna smooch it, smoosh it against this card layer. Now, if I want more color somewhere, I just come in, bring it onto my window sheet. You can fold it up so you have the wet part and you can add other layers of color right onto your card base. This is so simple. It adds some very subtle color. I'm trying to get a baby wipe out of here. Hang on a second. And some artistic flair to your cards, but it doesn't use a lot of water. So you do not need watercolor paper to do this. And when you're done, you just wipe off your window sheet and you set it aside to use for your next project. It's so easy. Clean out your aqua painter and you've got this super artistic pop of color. This is just whisper white paper. This is not shimmery white. This is not watercolor, just whisper white paper. This is such an easy technique. Whenever something's missing, it may just be a little pop of color. Okay, now. I'm gonna do some layering. This card is one of those cards that has a few steps to it but it is totally worth it. I love the look of these flowers. Do you see how they look kind of smudged and antiqued? They just look that way. It is awesome. This is maybe one of the prettiest stamp sets, I think, in the Occasions catalog. Okay, I said we're gonna do some layering. So let's do our therapeutic trimming our fussy cutting here some people like their coloring books I like to do trimming and by the way these are super easy to cut you can see we don't have a lot of intricate details they cut out pretty quickly
Okay, on to my second one. The other cool thing about that watercolor technique that I use, the window sheet smooshing, is that none of your cards will look exactly the same. They turn out different every time, which I think is really unique. Okay. We're in for our layering. I'm loving these leaf punches and vellum. I think it totally softens the look of a card. I'm going to use two of these. When I do layering, I like to keep the right weight. And I usually play around with the balance of my card to see what just feels pleasing to my eye. If it doesn't feel right, Go back in and add more or take something out. Okay, now here we've got our sprig punch. This was in the autumn catalog. I'm pretty sure it carried over. If it didn't, oops, then just use more of these leaves. Um, Julie's asking, do I ever use the simple chamois? I do. But my stamp room is upstairs, and my chamois got a little dried out. I need to rinse it in my sink, uh, so I have it on my table to take it downstairs. And in the meantime, I'm using my Stampin' Scrub. I like that I have more than one option. All right, we're gonna get to our layering here. Now the layering part is the fun, I think. I'm gonna come in and this is going to get glued down. So let me do that before I start popping a bunch of stuff up on dimensionals. I always think it's hard sometimes to glue down your card front when you've got a number of layers and dimensionals going on. Okay, here's where I said you get to play around with what feels right. I like to fold up the edges of these flowers, give it a little more pop, and if you want you can use your bone folder to help do that. I think that looks pretty good. Don't you? I think that looks awesome. Okay, so now we're going to back off our layers. And I like where they're placed. So I'm just going to put a few dots of glue down here to get them secured. <clears throat> we'll do the same with our vellum sheet. This is how I do my layering. I have no idea if this is the same way other people do it. I got some glue on my fingers, so. But this is what I found that works for me. Okay, now we're gonna end up with our flowers on top of each other. So I'm just gonna glue those down first to each other.
And then this, these glued flowers, my fingers are sticky, so let me just wipe those off a second here. These I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. And then I'm going to bring in our sentiment on top. Now these are already up on dimensionals. So here's the trick. On this side, I want one dimensional. And on the other side that's tight to the card base, I'm going to layer two so that it is the same height. Okay. And there we have it. Of course, sometimes it feels like a card is missing something, even when you've put in three layers like I have here. And that's where our adhesive backed sequins are my hero. I'm just going to come in and bring in some of these where it feels like we could use a little bit more oomph. And I always like to do these in odd numbers. It just feels more pleasing to the eye that way. What do we think, up here? Down here? Feels like we need a little bit more weight up here. So we'll go like that. And that is our last project. Of course, you can stamp the inside of the card if you wish. This really could be a birthday or a wedding card. So I'm going to leave a sentiment. Um, out of here and not include that, but I am going to stamp a little flower on the inside so that no matter what I choose to do, I've at least still got a little something. Since I love these flowers so much, I'm just going to come in here and here and one up here. You know, we've even got some little hearts. I can bring some of those in. Right over the top of our flower. That would be cute. Oh no, I got some ink on the inside. I'll have to figure out a way to cover that up. There we go, finished card. Let me get some of my mess out of the way here. What did you think of our projects tonight? We had a couple simple stamping projects. And we had a couple that were a bit more advanced. Well, I should say we had one that was a little bit more advanced. And we had a couple that were absolutely perfect for beginners. All right. So we've got our wishing you a lovely day layered card. Gorgeous. We've got our cupcake birthday card. Celebrate your day. We've got our stinking sweets gunk and then of course his friends the ape and the alligator stamping does not have to be difficult <laughs> so thank you so much for stopping by I will post all the dimensions in the post to my live again 
Remember to share my video. And if you order from me, log your purchase on my Rustic Rewards tracker sheet so you can get some free goodies. And come back here next Wednesday night at 7.30. I've been thinking about bumping this back to 7 o'clock, by the way. So if you have any feedback on that, let me know. I'm open to the idea. Um, just gets me done in the evening a little bit sooner and some time to kind of wrap up before I hit the hey, I'm an early to bed kind of gal. All right. Thanks again for stopping. I really hope you love the projects and I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to stamp with me. Have a great rest of your night.